Mathematics Day is celebrated every year on December 22nd to honor the birth anniversary of Srinivasa Ramanujan. He died at the age of 32 due to tuberculosis. Ramanujan gave almost 3,500 math formulas to the world that scientists have still not been able to prove completely. The aim of this celebration is to raise awareness about the importance of maths amongst people for development. This day was first declared on February 26, 2012 by our former Prime Minister, Dr. Manmohan Singh. Srinivas Ramanujan was a self-taught mathematician. The celebration of this day pays tribute to this legend and his contribution towards maths. He was a mathematician who was also called as Man Who Knew Infinity. He had no formal training but was able to solve trigonometric problems at the age of 12. All the states in India celebrate National Mathematics Day in different ways. Various competitions and mathematical quizzes are conducted at schools. In our school also, we are organizing different programs like quizzes, speech and other activities to celebrate this special day in a commendable manner. Let's take our vow to love mathematics and do our best to practice and apply mathematics in our daily life. Wishing you all a very happy Mathematics Day. Do you know what I am? Say my name if you can. If you look really close, you will see. I have three sides. One, two, three. What am I? You are a triangle. The first digit is three less than the second digit. And the second digit is four times bigger than the third digit. What is the number? The answer is 141. The first digit, 1, is 3 less than the second digit, 4. And the second digit, 4, is four times bigger than the third digit, 1. I am Srinidhi S. Kumar of Class 9B. Today, I am going to present some fun facts about mathematics since it is National Mathematics Day. But before that, let us know why we celebrate 22nd December as National Mathematics Day and some other things. Maths Well, it has always been a subject of extreme terror to most of the students, let it be the exams or the classes. But still, a small percentage of students love the subject to their core because they find a uniqueness in maths which no other subjects possess. Every year, the country celebrates National Mathematics Day on December 22 to commemorate the birth anniversary of the great mathematician Srinivasa Ramanujan. This day was first observed in 2012 when the former Prime Minister Dr. Manmohan Singh declared this day as National Mathematics Day on February 26, 2012. Srinivasa Ramanujan was an Indian mathematician who lived during the British rule in India. He was born on 22nd December 1887 in the town of Erode in Tamil Nadu. Although he had no formal training in pure mathematics, he made substantial contributions to mathematical analysis, number theory, infinite series and continued fractions, including solutions to mathematical problems which were then considered unsolvable. Now talking about the story of mathematics, the history of mathematics is as old as humanity itself. Since olden times, mathematics has been fundamental to advances in science, engineering and philosophy. It should come as no surprise that the first recorded use of the number zero to be made as early as the 3rd or 4th century happened in India. 
Mathematics on the Indian subcontinent has a rich history, going back over 3,000 years and thrived for centuries before similar advances were made in Europe, with its influence meanwhile spreading to China and the Middle East. As well as giving us the concept of zero, Indian mathematicians made seminal contributions to the study of trigonometry, algebra, arithmetic and negative number, among other areas. Perhaps most significantly, the decimal system that we still employ worldwide today was first seen in India. Some of the famous Indian mathematicians are Aryabhata, Brahmagupta, Srinivasa Ramanujan, Shagandala Devi, who was often called the human computer, Satyendra Nath Bose, and many others. Now let's see some fun facts of mathematics. Fact number one, the Hardy Ramanujan number, that is 1729. It is the smallest number which can be expressed as the sum of two cubes in two different ways. The two different ways are, first way, 1729 is equal to 1 cube plus 12 cube. Second way, 1729 is equal to 9 cube plus 10 cube. Fact number two, 2520 is the smallest number that can be exactly divided by all the numbers 1 to 10. Fact number 3. 4 is the only number in the English language that is spelled with the same number of letters as the number itself. Fact number 4. If you were to spell out numbers from 1, you will not find letter A until you reach 1000. Fact number 5. Letters A, B, C and D do not appear anywhere in the spelling of numbers from 0 to 99. Fact number 6. 40 is the only number that is spelt with letters arranged in alphabetical order. Fact number 7. The opposite sides of a dice always add up to 7. For example, 6 and 1 will always be on the opposite sides which adds up to 7. Fact number 8. Every odd number has E in it. Fact number 9. Multiplying the number 1 always gives you palindromic numbers. Fact number 10. The number name 100 does not actually mean 100. It is derived from the word 100, which means 120 and not 100. Thank you.
A very warm good morning to all of you. I am INNS of class 6. If you are an Indian, you are expected to love curry. If you are an Indian, you are expected to know how to drip a sari. If you are an Indian, you are expected to know fluent Hindi. And if you are an Indian, you are supposed to ace mathematics. That is how the world sees you, whether you like it or not. Maths is supposed to flow in your blood. Sums are supposed to come naturally to you. We all know that it is far from true. Most of us run away from maths. Indians are no exception. But there was one Indian to whom maths did come naturally. Srinivas Ramanujan. He outnumbered mathematics, excelled in mathematical analysis, contributed immensely to the number theory, infinity series, continued fractions, theta functions, elliptic functions. To Ramanujan, maths was as simple as ABC. He was self-taught and was a genius. Today is his birth anniversary and this is a story. Flashback to 22nd December 1887. Ramanujan was born in a small town, Erode in Tamil Nadu. By the time he reached his teens, he was done solving every single college level math problems. At 15, he started to develop his own theorems at home. At 26, he managed to send his works to Cambridge. He soon moved to Cambridge. He collaborated with renowned mathematicians there. He also worked on his own research and was subsequently elected to the London Mathematical Society. He was the first Indian fellow of the Trinity College. He conquered maths but succumbed to poverty. Years of malnutrition caught up with him. He frequently fell ill. At the age of 29, he was diagnosed with severe vitamin illness. He returned to India in 1919. He died in April 1920. While India celebrates 22nd December as National Mathematics Day, our country is giving honor Deepu of class 7a. Here I am going to solve the Rubik's Cube. Add some in, take some away, do some maths every day. Count the head, count backwards, count in nine, use a number line. Build us with shapes, learn more or less. Tell the time, sing a math rhyme. Zero is not represented in Roman numerals. Next one. From zero to thousand, the only number that has the letter A in it is one thousand. All shapes within the same perimeter, a circle has the largest area. Uh, the number on opposite face of a dice always add up to 7. Plus and minus symbols are used as early as 148,489 AD. And Abacus is considered the origin of the calculator. I add 7 to 10, I get 5. Do you know how? 
the answer is when it is 10 am adding 7 hours to it makes it 5 pm Maria Fatima S of class 8B is going to present a tangram. 